Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 Day Trend covering, of course, Halloween, Bonfire Night and the end of October, start of November. The big weather story globally, though, at the moment doesn't concern the UK. It concerns Hurricane Melissa, which hit Jamaica on Tuesday as a Category 5 monster. In fact, with a central pressure of 892 hectopascals and a sustained wind speed of 185 miles per hour as it made landfall. It was the joint most intense Atlantic hurricane to make landfall on record. Records go back to 1851. At the time of recording, it's now bringing further disruption and destruction to Cuba. It's going to pass through Turks and Caicos, the Bahamas, and then eventually end up in the North Atlantic. So I imagine during the next few days, there'll be the usual unjustified hype about a hurricane hit in the UK. That's not going to happen. But Melissa is going to end up in the North Atlantic over cooler waters. It's going to weaken considerably and it will end up as a typical mid-latitude low, passing most likely to the north of the UK as just another low pressure system, effectively nowhere near the same beast that brought so much destruction and uh, um, with terrible conditions over the Caribbean. It will be virtually indistinguishable to these lows that are also lining up to head towards the UK. And it's this low in particular later Wednesday into Thursday that is starting to inch closer to the UK. A slow moving area of low pressure and in fact slow enough that we start Thursday with plenty of fine and bright weather. A few mist and fog patches here and there across northern parts of the UK in particular and a touch of frost in the air. So a chilly start for many under a ridge of high pressure first thing. And here's where we are at lunchtime with some bright skies remaining across eastern parts of the UK but cloudier conditions towards the west, a warm front pushing some persistent rain into Northern Ireland, into parts of Wales as well. But staying drier elsewhere and the wind increasingly picking up, bringing some disruption potentially to parts of Northern Ireland with the risk in exposed spots of 60 to 70 mile per hour wind gusts. The rain as well causing increasingly uh, unsettled weather across western parts of the country as we go into Thursday evening. This heavy band of rain moving through western parts during the evening and then crossing the country overnight, keeping its form as it clears eastern England and pushes into Orkney and Shetland by dawn on Friday. So that will keep temperatures a little higher compared with Wednesday nights, but it stays unsettled as we go into Friday. Halloween, of course, low pressure to the northwest of the UK. We'll stay there for a couple of days, Friday into Saturday, swinging various weather fronts and features in from the west. Uh, so we're going to oscillate between showers and longer spells of rain. In fact, Friday could be a very unsettled day with some particularly lively showers, especially across central and southern parts of the country, some thunderstorms, and watch out for the risk of some particularly gusty weather winds surrounding some of the heavier downpours, not just around coasts where it will be blustery through the day, but inland where we see these showers forming. Hit and miss as is always the case, but some really quite lively thunderstorms could develop on Friday afternoon and uh, push their way east northeast. So it's fairly quickly, but bringing the potential for thunder, lightning and hail and gusty winds as well. Interspersed by some brighter weather and a little milder as we go through Friday. Temperatures reaching 16 Celsius there across southern parts. Friday nights for Halloween, if you are heading out uh, trick-or-treating, then it's a mixed bag. I think the driest and clearest weather likely towards the east. It's going to stay blustery, however. Towards the west, a drier start to the evening, so perhaps get out there early on before the next batch of showery rain moves in. And again, these will be heavy with gusty winds surrounding them. They cross the country, clearing eastern parts on Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon then, a more traditional mix of sunny spells and showers. Again, some gusty winds around those showers, perhaps some thunderstorms in places. So a, a real mixed bag, I think, on Friday and Saturday with low pressure nearby. In between the showers, there'll be some sunshine, a little cooler on Saturday itself. But we go into Saturday night with further showers coming along again with blustery winds. All of this weather, of course, keeping overnight temperatures a little higher on Saturday night and into Sunday morning because there's another cluster of 
very heavy showers moving in by dawn across Wales and the southwest, further showers into the northwest of Scotland, some clear spells in the east as we begin Sunday. These systems do tend to move through and then turning a little drier across most parts for a few hours around the middle of Sunday. You can see some sunshine there across central parts of the UK, northeast Scotland as well before the next system brings a band of rain into Ireland. And as we go into Sunday, the winds will start strengthening again towards the west. Now this band of rain may well be associated with the remnants of X hurricane by this stage, Melissa. Here it is from the Met Office model. And in fact, if we rewind the clock, you can see where it came from. We can go back to the time recording and it's currently at the time recording, clearing Cuba. Here's the jet stream, and at the moment, Hurricane Melissa isn't quite joining in with the jet stream, but over the next couple of days, it will move north, move north much more quickly than uh, the last few days, of course, it's been so slow moving. And then on Friday, it's likely to be picked up by the jet stream, but at the same time, there's another low coming out of North America. And the interaction between these two lows, Melissa, and the new low coming out of North America, and the interaction with the jet stream make for a very complicated forecast on Friday and into the weekend because those interactions will determine exactly where Melissa ends up. Now, the Met Office model keeps it just to the northwest of the UK. And in fact, if we run the model many times, this is the European output. The model is run 51 times. And you can see the track from Melissa, fairly high confidence that it will push quickly into the North Atlantic, end up over cooler waters, picked up by the jet stream, and then a fair bit of divergence about where it goes next, but likely heading towards the north of the UK. The 51 simulations from the European model mostly have it to the northwest of the UK. There are some other model simulations that push the low into more central parts of the UK, but they're in the minority. You can't rule them out at this stage, but they are in the minority. It's most likely that Melissa will move into the waters just to the north of the UK between Iceland and Scotland. But yeah, we'll keep you updated over the next few days as to how that is turning out. Now, as that takes place, it's likely to bring outbreaks of rain and stronger winds to many northern and western parts of the UK as we go into the start of next week. But like I said at the start, nothing particularly unusual is signalled at the moment. It looks most likely to be another mid-latitude low, just like the ones we've seen so many of during recent days. And that low pressure signal to the north of the UK is a strong signal for the start of next week, whether it's Melissa or another low. There's a 62% chance when we look at more than 250 model simulations that this weather pattern will prevail on Monday the 3rd of November. Low pressure to the north or northwest of the UK. The blue colours here indicate above average rainfall for the time of year for Western Scotland, Wales, Northwest England, Northern Ireland, the south and southwest about average towards the east. So the wettest weather coming in to the west because of the placement of the low and these strong southwesterly winds. And fast forwarding to Tuesday, the same weather pattern is again the most likely weather pattern. 53% chance again of wetter than average conditions to the west of the UK as these lows, whether it's Melissa or another low, pass close to the north of Scotland. And that's summed up by this probability plot. This shows the most likely weather patterns going out to the next couple of weeks. They're colour-coded, so the dark blues here are westerlies, the lighter blues are southwesterlies, and it's basically, through next week, a mixture of westerlies and southwesterlies. That would indicate lows just to the north of the UK and bringing in very changeable weather. Bands of rain, blustery winds interspersed by more showery days. It isn't until we get towards the middle of November that some of these other colours start to join in and they indicate more settled interludes, but the signal for those is still relatively small until you get to 10th or 11th of November. So the 6th of November, next Thursday, this just sums up the top three most likely weather patterns. Low pressure tending to sit to the northwest is again the most likely weather pattern with above average rainfall across western parts. And the second and third most likely weather patterns are basically very similar with that northwesterly 
position of the low pressure passing between Iceland and Scotland. Fast forward to Saturday, the 8th of November. Again, low pressure to the north and northwest of the UK, the most likely scenario. But there is a hint here. We look at the third most likely of higher pressure and the second most likely to the south or to the east of the UK. So just a hint there as we get towards the 8th, 9th, 10th of November of something a little less unsettled with higher pressure, most likely to the south. This sums up next week with the pressure anomaly at its lowest across Iceland and the northwest of Scotland and this strong southwesterly airflow. This is a summary of next week's weather or pressure pattern from the European model. But the following week shows something a little different. It shows not much of a signal across much of the UK, but higher than average pressure, more likely across southern parts and certainly over the continent. So that just indicates a better chance of uh, building pressure to the south. Still, more likely than not, we keep changeable weather across the UK, but perhaps not quite as unsettled, with a greater chance of some more settled interludes coming up from the south occasionally. So that sums it up for this week's 10-day trend, but we'll keep updated day-to-day -day on the detail on our YouTube channel.